Transit, the supervan. Big, fast, efficient. Fifty years old. The van which transformed many a business. Big body, big choice of body. I just love them to death. If you look at this panel here... As founder of the Transit Van Club, Peter Lee owns 13, including this rare 1965 model, built during the very first month of production. They changed like commercial vehicles as we know them today. It was the size then which was the key to its success? It was, yes. An 8 by 4 sheet of plywood would fit from front to back. That was a common size building material. It was revolutionary. Nobody had thought about that before. Now you could deliver it yourself. Until two years ago, the vans were built in the UK. First at Langley in Berkshire, then Swathling near Southampton. In 1976, the millionth transit rolled off production lines. Today, more than 7 million have been made. The 1970s, real demand for customised vans. Yes, and every good custom, custom van had shagpole carpet, velour seats and a nice drinks table. I mean, this is a typical 70s setup. Everyone had a decent cocktail bar in the back. Of course. And they As their popularity grew, so did their reputation, which wasn't always positive. According to Scotland Yard, in 1972, they were used in 95% of bank robberies. Other manufacturers launched similar vehicles. The expression, white van man, fairly or unfairly, became a label for fast, thoughtless drivers. And if you've ever wondered why white was so popular, wonder no more. White vans are 8% cooler in hot weather than dark vans, and that's basically it. Van-dependent businesses have grown recently. Last year it's thought they contributed £120 billion to the UK economy, partly because of changes unimaginable 50 years ago. The big game changer in the last decade, decade and a half has been the growth in online sales. And now many households get uh, goods or services delivered a few times a month, even a few times a week. A growth in self-employment has also played a part. In the 2009-2014 period, the level of self-employment in the UK went up by nearly 20%. So a lot of these new self-employed people made use of vans. Tai Rahman was one of them. We do removal works, mainly furniture removing. T to be honest, the last couple of years, there's a lot of vans on the road. It's more competitive than it w what it was when we first started. People like the flexibility, right? And uh, the, the, the idea is you can adjust your timetables, you know, you don't have to come in at nine in the morning. On the van trade, it's just a means of daily bread. 50 years on, the vehicle that transformed the delivery business sets off on another job. It's been a long journey. Tim Muffett, BBC News.